part C of this question uh, draws two, has two curves and asks you to label them, um, one for the interval, one for the hypothesis test. So kind of like the explanation I gave for part B, this is where they really want you to visualize the two-sided nature of an interval versus the one-sided nature of the test. So what we have over here is what uh, Clark did. Clark did the confidence interval, and on the right side is what Aurelia did. She did the hypothesis test. So with Clark, uh, confidence interval, 95% centered at, at the mean, so in this case, zero. And when we have a 95% confidence interval, what we have is um, that critical value that we've used for 95% confidence interval, 1.96, negative 1.96, that's what we're talking about. That's how we'd label those two aspects of it. Um, what it means is if 95% is between these two lines, 5% is not equally distributed, 0 0.025, 0 0.025. So that's why an interval is by definition two-sided. We have those on either side. Um, and what they're looking for is they're looking for the labels having the 95% in the middle, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, and then our labels of negative 1.96 and 1.96. Now with the test, the test is one-sided the test was greater than from before. So what we need to realize is for that same alpha O5, we're gonna put that whole significance level over here on the right. So that whole 5% goes over here, which means 95% goes down. So if you think about it, this, this one for the test actually has more area on the right than this one over here for the interval does. So what we need to realize is, is that this critical value changes. And what it changes to is it changes to 1.645, which is what would be our 90% um, confidence interval uh, critical value. Because if you think 5% over here with a confidence interval mirrored 5% over here, 5 and 5 is 10. So that means 10% not in, that would mean 90% inside. So that's the difference. And that's the reason why Clark and Aurelia came to different decisions because uh, Clark ended up with a number that was probably like right about there, but as you notice when we went to Aurelia, we slid the line to the left and all of a sudden what was not significant for Clark became significant for Aurelia.